have PR Balrog going up against the, the other remaining god in the tournament, Haitani. We got gods for days here. Yeah. <laughs> Evolution 2013. Shoutouts, of course, to BrokenTier.com. Use the promo code EVO2013 for 20% off of all Broken Tier uh, paraphernalia. He's got a lot of t-shirts there. I never remember if he has any more Yipes beanies available. <laughs> Uh, but he's also had joystick sacks before there and such, so. A lot of cool stuff for Broken Tier. Yeah. Awesome guys, straight from this community, out now in the world of uh, business, getting it done. You see so many of their shirts looking good on uh, on the crowd. I'm very proud of those guys. Yeah, you walk out into an into a evil ballroom like this, there's just like countless Broken Tier shirts in the audience. They are soaking up uh, the delicious tears of all the losers in the audience. <laughs> the best losers in the world. Losers, of course, meaning they were eliminated from the tournament. <laughs> I know, we're spending a... <laughs> the I mean, there's like, there's like 8,000 people or something <laughs> watching and stuff like that, and we're calling them all losers. Yes, well, it's a, it's a proud tradition. That's what makes the Evo crowd so hype and so incredible, is that they've got blood in the game. <laughs> like, their blood has been spilled to put these champions on stage. <laughs> And this is going to be ugly. Two heavy hitters going right at it. PR Balrog out for blood. Wow. PR Balrog, PR Balrog playing angry. This is... He looks like he's uh, definitely woken up a little bit from the Chiquita match. Uh-oh. And he answering back. That jump here from Balrog so good. Wow, nice block. Okay, he's gonna. Oh, he tried to get the stand jab in the low round has for the hard knockout. He might get it. Oh! oh! Burning the meter to survive the jab punch. But this is not gonna kill. Choose him, go down the key. The crowd's singing along even with that ultra. Oh, oh catching the back dash. Yep, he, tra he changed his arc in the air just a little bit. PR Balrog said, I'm gonna back dash out of trouble. No, you're not. Round one. Hi, Tommy. Oh, big damage. Oh, that really standing strong interrupt, and then a back dash chase down. Itani stepping up to the challenge. Pierre Balrog not able to after that jab. Oh, he's going to be able to get that. Not going to kill, just but going to do a good amount of damage. Give him the life lead. And a little bit of much needed momentum. Going right in there, I like it. Can't respect him too much. Yeah, yeah Barra willing to use up a lot of that. Oh, oh great, great jump! <laughs> what? Oh. And then oh. walking <laughs> right outside of the throw <laughs> range to bait it. My brain is popping a little bit. That's uh oh man. Barra confirmed best focus attack in the game. <laughs> You'll see that standing strong from PR Balrog occasionally at outside ranges. He's option selecting it. Oh, again! Again! Oh. What is this? What are we watching here? Oh, no. He drops it. Answered back. And now, Atani, the chance. What's he got? Oh! Right into it. No more ultra. Oh! Oh, whoa. I think it went under no a little charge. bit, so he lost the charge, yeah. Oh! No! Oh. Haitani did not cancel that into the rush. If he had did, he would have chipped PR Balrog. And PR Balrog knows. He's got to look inside, get himself together. That was a crazy ending there, but great, great stuff. Escaped that one, but... Ooh. Gonna have to remain focused for the, on this match. Figuratively and literally. Great counter pokes from Itani, and here he comes. Oh wow, counter focus there. They're through there and chasing. Wow, that was risky. Very risky. He just barely caught him when he decided to backdash. Yeah, if Itani had held it, he would have gotten that. And look at this big damage. Yeah, Balrog living and dying by that backdash. <laughs> he went for it again, but that time Itani. Oh, oh, he baited it out. I think he's cleanly over. Dashing all the way in behind him. There is the beauty of Makoto's dash. It goes so fast, so far. You got an ultra? I'm just dashing, keeping up with you. Good pursuit into the corner. Goes for the mix ups. Oh, not this time. All right, getting wise. All right, Balrog, I'm here, Rog. Probably relying on the focus attack a little too much now. 
You can see how he's changed up his game a little bit. Instead of using the focus attack, going with the jab rushes. Oh, hard. He'll survive this. Wants a little bit of breathing room so he can backdash if needed. Ooh. He can get the head back to Ultra. Is this going to kill? P. R. Balrog. Yes. Holding it down. Puerto Rico, Haitani, like, yeah, yeah, good stuff. Okay, cool. Again, Pierre Rock, very liberal with that use. Unbelievable. Of the yeah. EX rush to get through a post. You can focus. What is this new tactic, I, yeah. 2013? This is amazing. See, brand new stuff. Again? And, and look, now she's just forced to sit there and lock. Did he pull out of the air? Got him on the ground for max oh, damage! Balrog. Raw Ultra. He's gonna take it with a focus. I mean, I just, it's just, oh, what a read! But then the EX head up from PR Rog! He said, I don't care. I got the life. I'm going for it. We already have two of the Japanese gods taken out of this tournament. Will PR Rog add Haitani to that list? The gods are falling one by one here. Bodies are piling up. In there, gets the counter hit. Oof. Fortunately, that was a crouching fierce rather than a crouching strong. No follow up possible there. Okay, good damage. Haitani answering right back, turning up the pace of this match. PR Balrog not put off. Ops not to burn the ultra there, wants it in a kill position. Okay, and into ultra. That would be exactly now. Is this gonna kill again? Oh, Ooh. so close. Is he gonna go for an EX headbutt? Or oh no! Oh, oh wow! Amazing Pete. stuff. Two rounds in a row taken with a surprise <laughs> EX headbutt. Look at the focus on his face on Pierre Barog's expression. Looks like even he can't believe it, some of this stuff. <laughs> well, here we go, big damage. Oh! He has not stopped. PR Rock says, you know what, I'm not going to change up. I'm going to let you keep punishing it and then just keep going. He actually hit him out of the air so high that the EX follow-up rush missed. It almost feels like he's letting Haitani punish it to give Haitani the confidence that he's going to stop so he can keep going. That's Haitani punishable. Down last round. Oh, no, no. Did he Smart stuff from Haitani, always trying to throw that in there. This is the opening he needs. Oh, oh. great jump away. He said you shall not get it that way. Oh, what a pursuit! On an EX headbutt, and PR Rock takes it 3-0 over Haitani, sending Haitani home. And now PR Rock is going to move on in loser's bracket. And guess who he has to face next? The man he sent to loser's bracket. Infiltration. This is incredible. He's flowing like I haven't seen him flow. It's the same way when he finally sent Infiltration to lose his bracket first time. He looked like a man renewed. He just had a, he had something about him. And we're seeing new technology. We're seeing pace control. We're seeing incredible reads. Risky at just the right times. This is a man who's changed. Yeah, Gamer B and Daigo, of course, finishing seventh. So now tied for seventh. And now Sako and Haitani tied for fifth. So this <laughs> next matchup between Infiltration and Balrog and PR Balrog going to be for fourth place, but it looks like we're gonna go with Shin and Tokido in winner's bracket we, first. We will see who the champion of the winner's bracket will be. These two players guaranteed at least top three in the tournament. Whoever wins this will be guaranteed top two. Tokido, no stranger to uh, Evolution Finals, much less Evolution Championships. Yep. But to be honest with you, this feels like Shin's year. He won Canada Cup. He's put in the work. He has won so many tournaments recently. He's been in America for a very long time, traveled to so many tournaments. I just feel like this is this is his year. He's definitely a crowd favorite, a very humble guy. Nice guy, easy to like. Tokido, uh, a bit the opposite, out of characteristic, uh, <laughs> uncharacteristic, shall we say, for uh, sort of standard Japanese present self-presentation. Uh, he's very in your face. But you can see both of them there sporting those Mad Cats jerseys. I'm loving it. Now we saw Tokido pop off against K-Brad. 
earlier with the demon. Do you think he's got anything in store? Or does he put those shenanigans behind him to maintain maximum focus? Alright, now I remember at NorCal Regional, Shin and Infiltration played each other. Shin did very good against Infiltration. I think Shin was coming from losing bracket, or one of them, it went two sets. That's he reset the bracket, yeah. yeah. But of course, as PR Balog said, Tokido and Infiltration, two very different styles. Yeah, absolutely. Shin taking a little bit of damage from air fireballs. It's okay, not very much. And the so way we saw him win this before was this incredible patience. I, not a huge fan of that jump yet, just because it Ooh. showed a little bit of crack, and now in comes Infiltration with the resets. Stuff. Close to Dizzy. Oh, wow. Oh, and then did not punish it properly. And that is a very difficult move to punish. Oh, nice back dash, but no punish. Lands on the air fireball. Needs to get something happening, and that might be go. it. Yeah. Okay, what mix up does he have against Tokido? And can Tokido oh, block? Oh, he just went just for, for the, the launching, launching short. short. Yeah. Oh, nice uppercut from Tokido. Burns oh. the meter. Not something Shin was ready for at that moment. Pick up the Probably didn't think he was going to go for it because he didn't have the meter to FADC it. And Shen, I believe, he's got to be feeling this pressure. I mean, this is the maximum amount of pressure as a Street Fighter player that you're going to be facing in your entire career. And it's so hard to sit back here. And this is what's required. Weathering the storm of fireballs. Gliding gracefully through them. Oh, nice non-quick rise. Exactly. That's <laughs> non-quick rise. Yeah. Way to do nothing. <laughs> exactly. Excellently played. But it was an excellent play. We talked about it. Don't quick rise. Oh. It's not worth it. But great underhand that hits low. It's basically a fake overhead. Oh, what a counter! Great answer. Looking at a perfect good block from Tokido. But he's still on his heels here. Again, not a lot of chip from that hand. And you know, Shen is not really concerned about trying to get a perfect here. He just wants that win. And what he must not do is get knocked down. That's the only thing that can really end it for him. Just allow Tokido to build that meter if he wants it. He doesn't need it. He knows he'll be headed into the next round with a full super. Oh, good counter poke there. He stuck it out to punish Tokido from walking forward. Tokido tried to go in hard because he knew he had to do something. Now, this is very dangerous for Tokido because Shin's just sitting on a full meter. And a hit can easily lead into a super. That's a hit just like that, James? Just like that. <laughs> that is exactly the way he wanted the match to go. Ooh, and Tokido somehow avoided that. Yeah, I just think it might have been a little bit mistimed. It also might have been a, a, a... I saw Tokido wiggle a little bit. There is that technique that people have used to block up rock Yeah, holes. switch the stick quickly back. Oh, now here it comes. This will be the hard knockdown. It's another mix-up. Good blocks. How can Shin get out of this corner? Trying to challenge it air to air, not able to complete it. Tokido went for a shenanigan to get himself out of the corner. I mean, the shenanigan and accidentally put himself into the corner, I should say. A lot of pressure here. Gets away with a free jump in. Good block on Tokido's part. Look how scary that is. Oh, no, no, no. Touch a button, no. Does that reach? That's... No. Oh. This is Tokido's chance. Oh, I love him. Just yeah. jump away. Just get away. I don't even want to deal with this mix-up. And now we'll see if the patience he showed at the end of round two will pay off here in round three. I really like that he was able to weather that storm, not make any unforced errors, not go for an aggressive jump in. 15 Today. seconds. All the pressure is on Torpedo now. That's right. He's the one that... Oh, and there it is. Now the pressure is reversed. Wow! Torpedo, game one. EX Demon Flip. Surprising shit. Shen tried to counter it, but it is faster. It's so fast. It's I, I don't know if he tried to go air to air to counter it, uh, but that is yeah. Whatever it was, it gave Tokido the win the on that knockdown, and then that cross of air fireball. Shin had to try something because otherwise it would have been blocked air fireball, uppercut, game over. Right. And the only thing I'm disappointed with there is that I feel like Shen had to know that that was really Tokido's only option from that range. That's the only way he had to approach. But uh, as you said, extremely fast move, uh, using the EX, I mean, tough how, stuff. How many people remember he has that a lot of times, <laughs> you know? An EX Demon Flip. 
Takedo does use uh, many, uh, all of Akuma's tools, uh, even the lower percentage ones. Oh, nice. nice air to air. Yeah. Good block. And, you know, he jumped in the corner, didn't get the hit, immediately reacted to it by doing what? By jumping back out of the corner. Dancing out. Oh, nice pursuit. Look at that poke. Not able to challenge that with a waterfall kick. It's too dangerous. Kuma could change his arc, could throw a fireball, and without any invincibility. Not worth it. Again, just jumping in. He's getting away with him. Not gonna combo for that max range of four. Ooh, hands. Oh, great nice aspect of a cut. Pressure. Ooh. Oh, nice counter. He's gonna pull him in. Don't need to time the EX waterfall kick. What? Interesting choice there. I can't, uh... I, I'll say this. I, I didn't see it coming. Yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> sometimes that's uh, a know, virtue. You uh, might have thought he was going to go for an overhead to finish him off. Yeah, double overhead. Oh, nice stuff. Avoided that. Going for max damage. Just stand fierce directly into Waterfall King. Good Ooh. teleport away. Punishable, but Shen wasn't quite sure which way he was going. Ooh. Oh, again with that EX Waterfall kick. If you want to get the pressure on me, Takito, you're going to have to earn it. EX Fireball is not enough, buddy. And you saw there right there, Shin, just use the focus attack. Send the message to Takito. Stop using those sweeps. Ooh. Oh, he thought he had a completion there with the hands, but didn't quite quite get the counter hit. Great patience from Shin the block, but here we go. Tokido's got him in the corner. Wow, low short, nothing, and then blocked in time. Loving it. Just to kind of uh, counter Tokido's momentum. Now Shen dancing around here. Oh, wow. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Ouch. And this here gonna we be go. Me. Oh. He did not the air fireball. You see Shin just so bravely standing there yeah. in the face of that air fireball. He has to. He has to, he has to maintain his threats. He knows the position he wants to be. Oh, no, Tokido! I, that was exactly... That's I was too slow. I was saying he wants to maintain that position. That is exactly why. And again, Tokido has to know that that's was the, the only, only thing, thing he could have done. It. That's it. So again, two rounds, two critical rounds. One by moves that are relatively predictable. Murder face. <laughs> What other option could he have had? And you know, it's one thing to throw it super low to the ground. Tokido threw it way up there. Yeah. Which gave uh, Shin about 16 years to land that. Oh, chase him down. Yes, nice gets a hard knockdown. Again, Again, chase it down. Tokido be showing some cracks here. We'll see. Great trade. Solid pressure with the overhead. Ooh, great whiff punish from Tokido. But nothing from Tokido. Yeah, no vortex after that. Usually after a sweep, that's exactly one of the best setups for it. And again, that's what I'm wondering if this is some sort of crack that we've seen in Tokido. He seems to be a bit off here. I mean, it could have been one of those situations where he landed it and he just thought, I don't know what to do because he keeps EX Waterfall kicking me. Exactly. And then chose to do nothing. Oh, wow, kick my low roundhouse. Clean, normal counter, baits out the uppercut. Silenced by the crouching strong from Gen. And Shin really starting to get a rhythm here. A lot of the momentum. Fighting in so much about momentum. I use that word a lot. And there's a reason because it's so important. Once you start making bad decisions, your opponent can force you to make a series of many more decisions. Your yeah. confidence goes down. Your decision-making ability gets worse. And that's where you get paid off in fighting games. The craziest thing is oh, no. bad decisions propagate more bad decisions. And again, Gen has barely taken any damage, but able to earn that Ultra by focusing through so many of those fireballs. Now with a super meter full, watch out for low short, low forward, or any hands combo. This is looking very good for Gen. He has to be happy with this position. Here we go, Vortex time. Oh, he chased it down! He got chased it. the back dash down! And Shin is going to go up 2-1 over Tokido. Another god. Now this is winner's bracket action. So Takeda will not be knocked out of the tournament should he lose this next game. We will see him fight again. But Shen now up 2-1 on the brink started. and playing beautifully. Yep. Tokido defeating PR Balrog in the winner's bracket. The only Japanese guy I think that we've seen win so far. Oh no, Haitani beat uh, Gamer B. That's right, okay. Wow. Oh. Again, that 
was not only out of range, but it seemed a bit late. I'm worried about the mental state of Tokido. Yeah, it looks like Shin, what he's doing now is he knows that Tokido's not going to do a quick rise. So yeah. he's going for the, uh, the cross-up or the ambiguous off-the-wall kick just based off of standard timing. Yep. That's why he's missing it a couple of times. And he's earned that by going for the off-the-wall stuff uh, after the hard knockdown, suggesting that he's ready for a quick, or hoping for a quick rise. Yes. Oh, wow, what a recovery! Keeping that pressure, smelling the advantage, but now Tokido with an opening. Great block. Yeah. Tokido's gotten a lot of leeway out of those empty jump demon flips. Knocked down again. Again, goes low again. Great stuff from Shin, just a jump. You can you can block all crouching attacks when you land from a jump, so long as you don't do anything in the air. That's not going to be enough from Tokido. He's going to have to come up with a new game plan. Approaching on the ground into the demon flip. Great stuff from Shin. Once Total again, composure. Yeah. Just back dashing, saying, "I need some real pressure here. Yeah, we you have a chance of winning this." Yeah, we saw that again. We saw that earlier when Tokido said, "You know, what? I need to make a move," and he walked forward right into the crouching strong. Exactly. Happened exactly again because Shin had the same read. Play that defensive style, just control a little space and stay out of the danger zone. Yeah, basically you turtle him up until you read that rush from the opponent. Stick out the move and stop him. Ooh, another gutsy uppercut there. Kido definitely needs some momentum. Oh. Just way oh, off. Wow! He just blocked the low short and counter with stand jab right away. No delay. Good, Not a threat. Yeah. Oh no. Big damage. Oh, he was hoping that was going to stun. He was hoping that overhead's going to stun. Nice what an stun. Yeah. Love that answer by Takito. He saw that Shen was trying to generate a little bit of offense that he hadn't earned, going a little bit crazy. Perfect time for a wake-up uppercut. Let's see if Shen can get his composure back and be content on the far side of the screen. That strategy has worked out very, very well for him, and I think it's absolutely essential against Akuma. Oh wow, he waited just long enough and then got the counter hit. Both men looking for the opening. Again approaching full super. This is a total game changer. Oh, he's oh! landed it! He's going to use the ultra here and save the super meter. Of course. So he uses one resource and has this other really easily comboable resource left over for him. It can be comboed. It can be done raw against some of the fireball pressure. Very dangerous. If he lands the super right now, he is going to take this. And that dash has crushed some of Tokido's hopes. His corner pressure has gone. Now he's dashing back in. Yeah, look at Tokido. He's so scared to walk forward because he's ran into crouching strong yes. so many times. And He's really limiting his own movement because of that. He's half the man we've seen before. Sitting there, throwing some... Uh, oh, this is so scary. Sad air fireballs. Knowing one of those low shorts is going to equal your death makes it so hard to move forward. Oh, he oh, got, got it! it Love it. Can it kill? He got all hits, and the last one takes it for Shin. The god has fallen. Tokido showing a huge amount of respect there. Excellent, excellent play from Shen. I love the approach at the end of that round. He said, oh, here's this low short. This looks like your death. And just walked up, walked up, did it again, landed it. It's paid off. It was just the beautiful, based on the fundamentals of footsie. I, I love what, what the rule is, right? Um, poking beats walking forward. Walking forward beats with punishing. And with punishing beats poking. The, like the, <laughs> the, the fundamentals of footsies right there. And that's what he did. Every time Tokido started to walk forward, he poked. You know, if Tokido could have baited it and whiff punish, maybe, then he could have gotten, um, you know, Shen to, to think twice about the low strong. Never got a chance to go there. No, and to me, Shen basically was pointing over the left field wall and announcing, <laughs> this is what's going to happen to you. Here I am, I'm coming. Oh, am I going to throw? Ah, surprise. Low short, low short. Low forward. Yeah. And the scary thing is he did, super. he did three low shorts. He yeah. really hurt his damage on that combo, but yet still was able to pull it off of that last hit on the waterfall kick. And linking those shorts, of course, not not easy either. Yep. And here we go, a rematch from 
Friday night. Now this is so dangerous. Almost always in the salty run back, the person who won the first time has all the pressure on him because he has to remember, what did I do the first time? Trying first blood here. Whoa. And of course, Infiltration just saw Torpedo defeat PR Rog a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can pull a chocolate and copy the technique right away. I love the guts from PR Balrog just going right in there. And again, yeah, very difficult to scare Infiltration. Really crack well under pressure. Ooh. Gets that knockdown. Yeah, that is minus three, that straight rush. So he can punish it with a stand jab. Oh, nice counter pressure there. Frame trap baits it out. And now. Infiltration right back in there. Ooh, with punish. Ooh. Here, Balrog with no charge to pursue that. And here we here go. Here it is. Here's the game. Good he block. Headbutt. He pulled it off. The PR, PR Rock specialty. Puerto Rico's got a lot to be proud of today. And let's hope PR Balrog put on a show for them. First flocker. Oh, wow. That was really cool. Getting over there, yep. Dancing away. I like he's showing, keeping his threat maintained, but taking his time. Oh, Ooh. nice counter poke. Two whip punishes from both players right now. Good stuff. Great reactions, great anticipation. Ooh, a little bit off of the timing there, the release for the turnaround punch. Infiltration's got to be careful. He can't keep challenging PR Rog's reactions with those ultras. We've seen him accomplish that before. And now he has to be worried about the low roundhouse because PR Rog has a super the full built up. Super, yes. Ooh, that would have that could have been an ultra Whoa. Right through there. Missing the crumple. Infiltration. Again, I love the change of pace from him. Switching smoothly between the back pressure and then that, Ooh! Oh, Is that, that might have or not? I Maybe PR Rog. No. Oh, oh from the front. Yeah. The front. Well, very well played, I think, by both men there. In the second round of game one. And this is now loser's bracket action. One of these guys is going home. Will it be the returning infiltration, excuse me, the returning evolution champion, infiltration, or America's last hope, PR Balrog, who's playing some of the best Street Fighter of his life. Oh, cross up. And that is the power of Akuma. Ugly stuff. Goes for the reset, but he has to be careful because PR Rog equipped with a lot of material there, and he was trying to chase down a wake up back dash with that turnaround punch. That's one of PR Rog's signature tricks. And that EX low rush is supposed to be a mix up of the overhead. Yeah. You see the EX, you think he's going for the overhead because he really wants to land that ultra, then it'll go low. Yeah. Smart stuff from infiltration, not doing anything. Oh, and, and that's he, the pursuit. That's why he burned yeah. that meter. He threw the fireball and focus canceled it. Dash forward, present, preventing PR Balrog from yeah. the option of just jumping over it normally as he'd already represent that he might do. Silence with that standing here. It looks like the super cannot punish. Whoa! Huge stuff. Infiltration in danger of Dizzy, oh, but just can. answering back, not afraid. Oh, a little bit slow there. Oh, oh too far. Wow. Oh, oh, nice intercepting, low jab. Oh wow, backdashing to keep him in the corner. He's willing to block the demon clip stuff. to keep him in the corner. Great stuff. Our Balrog looked great. He was round one, but needs to put a game on the board. He's very patient, holding his charge. Before he finds his Ooh. oh. Oh, he had it, but still gonna get some damage off of it. Great nice. throw. Yeah. Surprise. Not going to use the super, obviously. He wants to save it. Ooh. Didn't have his charge. Yeah. That's good. And there it was. We talked about that a little bit earlier. Low roundhouse punish. Punishable only by that super. Ooh. Oh, nice uppercut. Great reaction from infiltration. And a and little bit off. Perfect. Loving it. Still throwing out that headbutt right there. I mean, Infiltration, that's happened a couple of times now. He's gone for that uh, Demon Flip and, yeah. I mean, if he doesn't do the dive kick, if he does the punch or nothing, he should be able to land and block in time. Gutsy stuff from PR Balrog. He's been, that's exactly why I've been really totally loving his play, yeah. is that he's making not just gutsy choices, but at the right times. That's the element of a champion. It's not just playing the science, it's playing your heart, making those clutch reads. Oh, Infiltration takes it out. Nice neutral jump. 
said, you want a dash punch, don't you? The answer was yes. Oh, you see, he went for the focus, immediately saw Infiltration go up in the air and dash forward right away. And here comes that Vortex again, great block. Oh, is he gonna get it? Oh, right through that! Whoa! Focus breaking, reversal, uppercut. And that